In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these cool little wooden phone stands. Hey everyone, it's David here from David's DIY Reviews. On this channel, we do a lot of tool reviews, tool how-to videos, and neat little DIY projects like this. Little quick 5, 10, 15 minute projects. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for a lot more really great content. Today I'm going to show you how to make these neat little wooden phone stands. You can make these out of anything really. I've made mine out of just a piece of 1x2 poplar. It's 4 inches long, um, it's 3 quarters of an inch thick. Um, all the dimensions and some instructions will be in the description below. These are a neat little build. They're quick. You can make them narrow or make it like a keychain. Great little Father's Day gift. And here's how to do it. So the first step is going to be layout. I'm going to make mine four inches long to leave room for that pen holder on the back. If you don't want the pen holder, maybe do it three inches long. So I'll just uh, mark four inches there and draw my line across. Now the notch is going to be one inches in and you're going to make the notch just about a sixteenth of an inch longer than the thickness of your phone. So this phone is about um, it was 5 sixteenths of an inch, so I'm going to make my notch about 3 eighths of an inch thick. So I've made those, those two marks, I'm just going to draw my lines across for the notch. So you're going to want to make the notch on about maybe a 10 degree angle, and go about 3 quarters of the way down. You can kind of just draw this by hand. This is just going to be something to guide your saw with as you cut, it doesn't have to be perfect. So this will definitely be the most difficult part of this build. So clamp your piece of wood in a vise or in your clamp as close to the vise as you can. It's going to, you know, vibrate, bounce around a lot less. And you want to just go ahead and put your saw on that same angle as your line and just really carefully start making that cut with just nice back strokes because if you try to push forward on the saw right away, it's going to bite and it's going to be hard to get it started. So just go ahead and get that started on that angle. And once you've got it started, you can go ahead and just start cutting that angle out. And as you get to the bottom of your notch on both sides, just have a look and make sure your saw is nice and level so that your cut is going to be nice and flat on the bottom. And then go ahead and cut your second line. So make sure you start your saw on the cutout portion of the line because you start on the line or the other side of the line, your notch is going to end up being too big. So just on the inside of that line, go ahead and get that next cut started. And just be really careful to get the angle of that second line the same as your first. And even if your first line didn't end up being, you know, the perfect angle, just make the second one the same as the first and it'll work out just fine. And as you cut down, once again, just make sure your saw is nice and level at the bottom. Now there's a couple ways you could easily cut out the middle section. You could take like a, a saw, like a bigger or coarser saw or just any saw and just kind of cut out the middle and cut down a couple times and break the pieces off and then kind of smooth it out. Or what I'm going to do is actually grab my coping saw here and just bring it down in and just cut it across the bottom like this and that's going to be really nice. So you know whatever you kind of do to get that notch out. And you know what, even if the bottom of your cut's not perfect, you can clean that up with sandpaper or a file or whatever you gotta do to make that look nice. So don't worry about that too much right away. And if you're having trouble getting the bottom of the slot nice and flat and those edges nice and tight, you can actually get a coping saw, just kind of any little modeling saw, and work it back and forth like this. I know it's obviously not really what a coping saw was designed for, or any saw for that matter, but you know what, it really works well. I do this a lot when you're kind of doing a little finicky work and trying to clean it up. It works well. You can get that bottom pretty much perfect to the point of sanding. <sighs> now the next thing I would do is just go ahead and put your phone in there. Make sure it fits in how you like it. Make sure it sits kind of on an angle that you want. You can kind of open the hole up a little more if you want a bit more angle. If you want less angle, you're probably just going to have to start over and make a narrow hole. But you know what? It's a good, good spot to stop, see how it's going, make sure it's working, and then we'll keep on going. So now I'm just going to cut the uh, foam stand to length and we'll be ready to drill that hole. So the next thing is going to be laying out the hole that you're going to drill for your pen if you chose to do that. And the reason I didn't lay that out first is because you don't really necessarily know the angle that your phone is going to lean at. Uh, the way I did mine actually doesn't leave a lot of room for error with drilling the hole. 
but that's how you're going to want to figure out where you know within the piece to put the hole and then you're just going to want to find center make your mark and go ahead and drill it so my material is randomly an inch and seven eighths wide so half of that's going to be 15 16 so that's where my center is going to be center there and then i think i'm going to come in you know just about a quarter of an inch not even exact i'm just going to kind of eyeball it because of how my phone leans because of how I want the pencil to sit. So just kind of right there is gonna work. And then we'll just go ahead and drill that out. And yes, I'm using a hand drill. Why? Because hand drills. So now you just wanna go ahead and give it all a nice little sand. You know, make sure you sand all in that slot really good and everything. And then that's gonna be about it. And if you happen to be looking for maybe a different type of phone stand or you know a different little wood project to make for Father's Day I've got a great little video on the YouTube card above it's four more really easy kind of 15 minute wood projects a couple phone stands a balancing line holder they're really neat check them out you can do them anytime it doesn't have to be a gift use them for yourself and you know if there's any part of this that you struggled with a little bit check out the description below I'm gonna have some instructions the dimensions it's gonna help you through this you know you can always Start this over, try it again if you mess it up. It's really quick, it's really easy, you're gonna love it. I know your dad's gonna love it if you make him one. So, that's today's episode, and see you in the next video.